How to install a custom kernel on your Xiaomi POCO F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a custom kernel on your Xiaomi POCO F1. Now before you come back and tell me that, oh, this is a very basic video. Well, I'm making this video because my channel is aimed at people who are new to the modding world. So this is a video for those peeps who do not know how to flash a custom kernel on your Xiaomi POCO F1. So what are the things which you need? You need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have Twerp Recovery installed. I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of this video. Next up we'll go into settings and then we'll go into about phone. As you can see right now my kernel version is 4.9.112. This is the stock MIUI kernel which came pre-installed with MIUI 10.3.7.0. The process will remain the same even if you are on a custom ROM. The next thing we need to do is to find a custom kernel. Where do you find a custom kernel for your POCO F1? The best resource for that is XTA developers. I have linked the XTA developers ROM and kernel development sub forum for the POCO F1 in the description of this video. And you have multiple options. You have Optimus drunk kernel then you would have one by Arter 97 and you would have other kernels as well like rebirth kernel for the purpose of This video we're going to use Arter 97 kernel So you need to decide what kernel you want to install and then go to that thread and download the zip file So we'll go into file manager and then we'll go into archives Here is the zip file for Arter 97 kernel now how do you install this for that you need to boot into twerp recovery and to boot into twerp recovery the first thing we need to do is turn off our POCO F1 once you've turned the device off you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo once we are in twerp recovery the first thing we need to do is we will click on wipe click on advanced wipe and we need to select dalvik and cache and then swipe to wipe once that is done, we need to click on the home button. Back on the home screen, the next thing I recommend is to back up your existing kernel. So for that, we will click on backup and then we make sure that only the boot partition is checked. So only boot needs to be checked. Everything else needs to be unchecked and then you swipe to backup. This will make a backup of your existing kernel in case you have any issues with the custom kernel you installed. And then we need to click on the home button. Now in case you do run into any issues with the custom kernel, all you need to do is boot back into Twerp Recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button till you see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. Then you need to click on restore and then select this folder which shows up. It will tell you what all partitions have been backed up. In my case, it is only the boot partition. So make sure it is checked and then you would swipe to restore. This will restore the backup which we have just taken. For now we will click on the home button, click on install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have your custom kernel zip file. If you downloaded the kernel on your phone directly it will be in the download folder which is this folder over here. In my case I transferred it from my computer so it is in the root directory and the next thing you need to do is simply select this file and then swipe to confirm flash. And that's it peeps, once the installation has completed successfully, all you need to do is click on reboot system and then wait for the POCO F1 to boot back into Android. Back into Android, if we now go into settings and then go into about phone, you can see that my kernel has now changed to 4.9.189 hyphen Arter 97, which means I am running Arter's custom kernel on my Xiaomi POCO F1. So there it is peeps, that is the simplest way of installing a custom kernel on your Xiaomi POCO F1 and that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.